Hey there, my name is Craig. I am the architect guy. In this video, I'm going to go over how to create page labels in Bluebeam and how you can use those page labels to name your files after exporting. So the first thing I'm doing is I have my PDF open that I've created. Uh, this is one that I've actually used at work. I just deleted a bunch of the info here. So it's just a blank sheet with the corner of the title block here with the relevant info. So in my title block, I've got the sheet number down here and then the sheet title. And the goal for today is to create page labels that reference both of those areas. And then once we have that named, we can actually export these pages as separate files and we can have all those PDFs named based on the page labels that we create. And the really great thing about doing that is when we're updating or uploading stuff to the state, at least for Wisconsin, they like to have all the PDFs individually and labeled a certain way. So instead of going through each individual page and labeling it G002 general information, I can do that all with a couple of clicks and do it for an entire document that's 100 pages. And what used to take a couple hours of work can take about 10 minutes. So with that, let's get started. So over on the left hand side, I've got my thumbnails opened up. So I've only got six sheets in this particular document, but that'll be enough to give you an idea of how to do this. Under each of the page thumbnails, there's a number one, two, three, four. That's just the number in the set. And then um, there's not a name assigned to it, but we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we don't have a scale set, but we don't have to worry about that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is to the right of this thumbnails, we have labels and create page labels. So we want to go and create page labels. This little dialog box opens up. So we don't have any bookmarks set up, so that's fine. So instead we're going to select page region and then we'll hit select. And we want to do this for all of our pages one through six in this document. So hit select. So now we have this crosshair cursor and it's going to be asking you for a box and what info you want from that box. So the first thing we want is the page number. So I'm going to select a box around the page number. Some of them are a little bit bigger and longer. So I'm just going to give it a little extra room here and make sure I grab the whole page number. And then it gives me the region one and then the preview here. So that's looking good so far. And next, I want the general information as a sheet title. So you can actually type things into this box and it will name every page based on that info. So I'm going to do space dash, dash space. And then I'm going to go to add. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'll zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to create a box around the page, the sheet title. So I'm going to give a little extra room uh, depending on how much, how long your titles are. As long as it's not interfering with any other text on your sheet, you can make this as big or small as you want. So something like that looks pretty good. And this is what my preview is for all my page labels. And that's really what I want. And as a bonus, so let's say I am uploading this to the state they have a transaction ID number that they give you for each project and they like to have your transaction ID number and then the sheet number and the sheet title. So let's say my ID number is T123456. So I'm going to do that space dash space. And this is what every sheet is going to be labeled as. It'll start with this. It'll change it each sheet based on the first region you drew and then the sheet and label based on the second region you drew. So I'm going to hit OK and that's just going to have me confirm which pages I want to do, which is all of them, and I'll hit OK again. So then it'll take just a second based on how big your file is, but it went through and labeled my pages right away. So if I go to my second page here, it says G101 code information. And that is indeed what that page label is. AD101 is my demo plan. 
So it did get it all correct, and my page labels are how I want them to be. So the next step, if I want to export these sheets, is I'm going to go, to, I'm right clicking here, and then I go to Extract Pages. And then instead of selected, it's just the first page right now. I'm going to do all pages. I don't want to delete them. I do want to extract them as separate files. And I would like to use the page labels to name those files. The rest of them you can leave unchecked. This one I, doesn't really matter too much. You can just uncheck that. And make sure you don't have this open files after extraction checked. If you have that checked and you have a set of 120 pages in here, it's going to open each individual file as a PDF tab up here. And that's just going to bog things down and it'll take forever. So make sure that is unchecked. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to ask me where I want to save that. So let's just say this folder is fine. I'm going to create a new folder that says state upload example and then I'm gonna just select that folder and then hit select folder down here and then it is going to extract those six pages into my folder and now when I go and open up that folder It's got my six files here with each of my page labels, how I created them in the Bluebeam document. And now I can zip these up and send it right over to the state. So instead of having to go through and rename each of these files after it's in this folder, I can just have everything set and ready to go. Uh, just be a little careful. Sometimes if you have an ampersand or different symbols like that, you might get an error that says we replaced that symbol with I think it just does a dash or an underscore. Uh, so you might want to just do a quick check at the end of this and just make sure that all of your files are named correctly and everything looks okay. But 95% of the time it works great. So I hope this saved you some time on creating some page labels and being able to upload to the state website. So thanks for checking out my video. Um, feel free to go to my website and my blog for more. And thanks for following along. My name is Craig, I'm the Architect Guy, and I will catch you next time.